Hello coffee friends and uh, welcome to the channel. I am Tom of Tom's Coffee Corner. And today we're going to look at two things. First of all, how to clean the chute on your Eureka Mignon Specialita. And number two, why you might want to have a baffle on top of your grinder. So the background behind the story is I had to clean out my chute a couple of months ago because I had put some beans in there that got uh, a little wet and so it all got stuck in there. And I was amazed at how much I actually can get stuck in the chute. And I thought to myself, hmm, I'm gonna see if I can find a bellows for the spatulita. And I found this one, which works pretty nice. So let's get right on into the video. Let's see how much retention the Eureka spatulita has in the chute here. And then after we do that, we are going to clean it out. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. All right, so let's just get right on into it. What I want to do is tear out my scale here and I want to put 15 grams in and see how much actually comes out. All right, you can see here it's 15.1 grams. Currently, I've got this all bellowed out. You can see there's nothing more coming out. Let's pour our dose in. And let's see what we get out. Okay, now the grinder was running idle. No more beans in there. And we are at 14 grams. So let's see, once we do the bellowing, if we can get the rest out. All right, let's see how much we've got now. And now we've got exactly our 15.1 back. Excellent. Okay, so there you go. That tells us that the bellowing really helps a lot to get the rest out of the chute. So now the chute is empty, the entire grinder is empty. What I'm gonna do is uh, put a few beans in there to let them go through, but not bellows it out so that we can see in the clear plastic inside how it gets stuck. All right, so let's go ahead and take it apart now and um, clean our chute. So to do that, let's turn it off and unplug it. And then we gotta turn this around and pull that off and unscrew this screw in the back. Let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, now we can turn it back forwards. And there's a, a couple of screws here that need to be removed as well as a screw here. I'm going to start with this one. So here we're basically just removing the nose. Oh, there it goes. Now we can remove these two screws on the top. Now we should be able to just pull that up and off of there. So there are these hooks here too that you have to consider. Pull that off to the side like so. Okay, and now you can see we've got access to the inside. Let's have a look here. All we have to do is remove this rubber part that just hangs out like that, that just kind of clips in here to the top. And what do you see here? There is a good amount of powder left in there. Now, this is uh, where you've got the rest of the retention in there. And when you're actually bellowing, bellowing out after each cycle, then this stuff will not remain. But if you don't have a bellows, what you can do instead is take a little tool like this one and clean it out. There's a screw inside here which has got a declumper or de... what is that called? De-static guard? That's what that looks like. And that's a big part of the culprit. Okay, so let's just go ahead and clean out the rest with a little brush. And you can see there's quite a bit that can still fit into that channel here. So, there we go. Then you can, oops. Then you can go and use one of these guys here to clean out all the rest. Make sure it's nice and clean inside as well. I'm gonna take a little water and just clean this area as well. Get that, ooh, nice and shiny again. Perfect. 
Okay, and that's what it looks like when it's all clean. And to put it back together, just do so in the reverse order. Put the static guard back on. Let's put this rubber nose back on. Just like that. Then we can put on the display, slide that in. Great. Put our two screws back on top. We'll slide this top piece back on. Just like so. Screw that back in. Plop the emblem back on. And finally, screw the nose back in. All right, the last thing that I want to do is run some beans through here, use the bellows after we have totally cleaned the chute and see just how clean the bellows get the grinder. All right, let's take a look. Turn the grinder off, unplug it. Well, I would say that's quite a bit cleaner. There's still a, a little bit left right in there. Okay, here you can see that there's still a little bit left, but probably less than 0.1 of a gram. Just gotta do some heavy banging on there. All right, guys, I hope you found this video useful. And if so, please give it a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking.